There are many grip strength feats online comparing rock climbers to strong men and grip specialists, but pound for pound who has the strongest grip between rock climber men and women? We're going to test a variety of grips using percentage of body weight to see who really has the strongest hands for climbing. There are three of us here today, myself a professional climber who will be competing for the boys, Mari a top level all round climber competing for the girls, and Dan Hipkiss the coach of the current world's strongest man who will judge. We've got eight different events to go through. Four of those are grip sport events, and then four are some miscellaneous jamming events. So we're gonna do rock, paper, scissors to see who chooses first. The first event that I'm gonna pick is this one, because I think it's gonna warm us into it. This is the half moon. And remember, we're going percentage body weight, so I think we should start with 10%. Yeah, that would be fine. So for me, I'm 70 kilos. It's gonna be seven kilos. Mari, 55 kilos. Grip sport is like a really specialist niche within strength sports. For the sake of keeping it simple, just gotta stand up straight, hold it, control the pause, and put it back down on the floor. In terms of keeping safe, we've warmed up your biceps. We're gonna go up nice and slowly through the lifts and yeah, should be good fun. And when it gets heavier, can I do the wide stance? You can go as wide as you want. Because there, <laughs> because sumo is cheating, we'll, we'll say there's got to be like a... <laughs> so we, we, we're just, we're just, we're going to say for this we have to... Reasonable. So yeah, we'll go fair play goals. How was that, Mari? A good warm-up to warm up the grip. I'm going to be bold and I'm going to say I think I have an advantage on this one because I think I have slightly bigger hands so I can get them round further more easily. So I do think I have more surface area as well because I have fat sausage fingers. Wow. Yes! Nice! nice. <laughs> We're going small increments because in grip strength events, so Dan tells us that small increments make a big difference. And as climbers, we definitely know that because hanging on the fingerboard, for example, you add just like half a kilo or a kilo and it makes a massive difference. Small increments, big differences. So we're gonna, we're gonna creep it up gently. Up to 20%. Come on, you can do it. We're on 20% my body weight, which is 14 kilos. That's hard though. Yeah, that's not easy. No, that's not good. Like, I would fail a kilo or two above that. It's my pick. What do you think you're going to go for? I'm going to go for this one. Something about this that I like. Take a look at this thing. It's like picking up half a two pence piece. So we're going to start at really low weights on this. We're going to start 5% body weight and see where we get to with that. I tried just um, picking it up a little bit and it's actually quite a lot in the thumb. 5% is actually the implement itself. So we don't need any weights on it. Whilst we tried the first weight on this grip, it's a good time to tell you that our first women's t-shirt has just gone live. Our flower fist tee is currently available in two colors and you can grab one easily using the link on screen. Very psyched to get these out to all the women in the crack climbing community. 10%. Let's go 10%. Let's go 10%. Yeah, the last thing as well, that and then it was easy and then suddenly it's Yeah, easy. that's grip ball. <laughs> Bam! Easy. Crushing. Crushing. <laughs> so we're set up for Mario on 15% body weight. This is 7.5 kilos. Does that count? Yeah. So we're giving you because you sort of, as you were lowering it, kept lifting it up, <laughs> which is like a weird choice to make. I can just see it already that it's going to be quite tricky. Uh, but what I always think is these are like gritstone pebbles. I've been pulling on gritstone pebbles for years. So realistically, I should be able to pull more than this on a gritstone pebble, you would hope. But we'll find out. Oh, well, that's tricky though. That is tricky. <laughs> This is 20%. This is serious stuff. <laughs> so, so do you want to try 20? I should try 20. 14 kilos. How are you feeling about this, Pete? This one's going to be pretty max, I think. I don't think I can lift it. Are you just pretending? It's really not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally not pretending. I'm not lifting it. 
I can't do it, no. I'm a bad sport because I'm happy now. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> this is going to get interesting. We're going to bring in some jamming. So for people out there that don't know what jamming is, jamming is what you do in cracks and we have a crack climbing device. It's going to be great. You don't see this in normal grip events. This is a channel only grip strength event. So people who are into grip strength, you might not have seen this before. People who are regular watchers of the channel, you'll know what jamming is. But it's essentially where we're filling a crack type feature with our hand in different positions. So what feels good to me is going to feel bad to Mari and what feels good to Mari is going to feel bad to me. So I think it's going to be very, very interesting results. So this is a camming device. This is what we use in crack climbing and we have all these different sizes. They're all in different colors. For this size of camming device, I'm going to be using one specific technique. And then because Mari has smaller hands, she'll be using a different type of technique. So that's going to be stack for me. Try to avoid that hole. <laughs> It felt good. A stack always feels good. This is half of my body weight, so that's 35 kilos. As you can see, it's quite heavy and I'm struggling to hold it just in general. I'm going to be using a different technique to Mari because I can't stack in there, my hands are too big. So I'm using a single-handed jam. So I'm using fist jam for this one. Not easy. Not going to lie. Not easy. Not easy. So now we have gone up to 70% body weight, or just over, just over 70% body weight. Mari is on 35 kilos, and she's going to do it on the size 4 cam, and then I'm going to do 70% body weight, which is more. Easy. It's not very friction, is it? <laughs> Did you drop that? Mm. I thought I had it. I felt yeah. like, and that's it. Yeah. You just have to look casual. <laughs> Come. Go. Nice. Nice. I wasn't sure if they were both off the ground because it's like first one and then the other. Another 35, so we're going for 100% body weight, which is 70 kilos. I think this could be tough, personally. Come on, Pete. Go on. Come on. Yeah. See, what, uh, what's what's Mari do? So Mari's going for my weight just to burn me off even more. It's gonna be fantastic. Let's see. Oh. oh. So I think Mari takes the win on that one, and we're on to grip number four. I think this one is going to be very challenging for me. Pete's going to be really good at that one. So maybe we should get this one over with while he's still tired. Gold bar pinch. Ah. <laughs> that was like the empty milk bottle feel, you know, when you're just like, ooh. <laughs> good, good start. We're in the bag. What is 25% body weight? I don't know. <laughs> 12.5. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nicely done. Look at the bump. Yeah. That's the trick. Hang on. No, no, that's not. <laughs> yes, say it yourself. <laughs> this is 17.5 kilos. You've got to make it look easy, you know, be competitive. That didn't look quite as easy as the last one. No. Mari, you've got to do another lift. Yeah. How do you feel? Good. Crushing. Crush. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's frustrating because you can't use any tricks for this. No, there's no tricks. Or I'm sure you can use tricks. But... Like, grip sport specialists have got like loads of tricks for stuff, but anyone who has access to stuff it's more fun to not know the tricks you know it's a more humbling way of figuring stuff this out. is 30 percent which is 21 kilos i'm feeling quite confident actually on this and you need to be sticky for this one i think
How was that? That was within limits, I think. So I'm, I'm happy with that one. We're going back to the crack box now. We're going to go on to red cam size. For me, this is going to be a paddle. So I'm going to insert my hand into the crack. And then I'm going to be pushing with my fingers, tensing with the thumb, and just trying to get as much meat into the crack as I possibly can. I like paddles. Mari likes hands. It's going to be good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 32% body weight. You made that look easy, Pete. You made it look very easy. I am going for 65% body weight on the paddle jam. Wow. Hear the squeaking. So Mario's doing 32.5. I think with this one, even though I'm sounding confident, I think Mario's going to smash it. Oh, that was confident. That was harder than I thought, actually. Yeah, yeah, there was some face pulling there. Okay, folks, we are on 80% body weight. That is 56 kilos for me. This is where it starts to get spicy. Very, very spicy. Because if I was hanging one hand off a paddle jam with that friction, we're going to be looking around 80% or, as you might see, less right now. I mean, it wasn't off the floor. It was sort of still on the floor. Can I give it one more go? That's what? Oh, that was tough. That was my max, I would say. Oh, and look at my skin. What bit of your hand is that? It looks like something you pull up from the freezer. <laughs> like this is dinner. <laughs> Factor that we didn't account for beforehand is skin survival. Yeah. It might give Mari an edge. It might sneak a win out of this one. Nice. Easy. That was a lot, a lot easier than me, that is for sure. Okay, so Mari is going again. She's feeling confident on this grip. I'm not feeling so confident. She's upped it to 90% body weight. We were at 80% before, so 45 kilos for Mari. It's going to be around 63 kilos for me, I think. Mari's going to first. She's going to pull for glory, and then I'm going to probably fail. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> 63 kgs, which is 90% of my body weight. This can be really tough. Even just carrying the 30 kilo dumbbells to the lifting station was hard. If I were you, I'd fail this because she's going to keep going heavier. That's a good point. It's a tactical point from the coach, actually. You've had only so much skin. I'm going to give it a go. <laughs> no! It's not coming off the ground. Would you be irritated if she, uh, if she lifted it? No, I'd be psyched. I'm going to be psyched. And it's a back. It's a big lift, 90% body weight. Of your body weight. Oh shit, my body weight. This is so for Murray's body weight. This is way over. Come on, come on, Murray. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's going. Yes, yes, yes. Go on. Yes! yes. yes. <laughs> Was it worth it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I stand for what I've done. Look at this, though. But that just shows how far <laughs> in I can get. <laughs> just over 125% body weight absolutely drowns me. I'm hub it up. So it's this pinch here. Your weightlifting plates have like a hub in the middle and a feat of strength was to pick up York 45 pound plates by the hubs. So this is to replicate it and how people train up to it. Approved lift? Yeah, nice and easy. How are you feeling about this, Mari? Strong. Strong in the grip. Is this a way? Yeah. Just let's go anyway. Nice. 14 kilos. I'm still feeling very confident. Where are the footholds? <laughs> We're on. Let's take the lead 4-2. 17.5 I need to lift. Nice. 
it's not over yet. We're, it's not over yet. We're How back. many jams to go? There's some jams to go. My chosen jam. Oh, that's tight. I have to be confident with greens, because greens is a good size for me, let's say. That was very easy. I'm going to go for a different technique to Mari because I can't get my hand in. So I'm going to go for ring locks. Pete sounds really bitter about the uh, the difference in hand size now. Yeah, I mean, it's it looked pretty pretty comfortable for Mari and ring locks are impossible. So it's going to be interesting to see what Pete does here. This is something about I'm just going to lift it straight away. To make sure it's in the bag. I'm not quite sure what that was. 20%. 14 kilos. It's coming off the ground. Yes. Easy. So it is time for me to do 30%. We're 21 kilos. Folks. Excited. Squeeze with the thumb. Ow. Oh, that's so easy. It was getting slightly trickier though. I can still do more, but. Not well, all laughing and having a jolly good time. <laughs> Are you laughing and having a jolly good time? Oh yes. Yes, yes, I am. I can see into your eyes. 28 kilos now. Last time it really uh, was digging in there. The edges are quite sharp, so I um, just want to get a bit of chalk there. I'm doing 50% body weight. Easy. Very smooth. Good work. Quietly confident. I think people maybe don't think I'm going to lift this. I'm doubting myself. No, I'm not. I just said I was quite confident. I'm quietly confident. <laughs> Nice. Ah, that was painful. I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. Ow. Legit lift? Yeah, that was disgusting. That was really, really upsetting to watch, but really impressive. How's your hands? Painful. On the thumb. You're in such pain, but I feel nothing. <laughs> <laughs> She's really playing the psychological games. Mm. Are you enjoying the competition? Uh. Yes, I am now. It's going to be a long car journey home for the loser of this competition, isn't it? Yeah. I've been so cocky, I have to lift this. Yep. <laughs> well, I was not expecting this. Huh? It's alright. Huh? Come on. Big squeeze, come on. Come on, Paul. Come on! I think this is really close now but this has suddenly got very close. Mari, do you think it's got close? Not yet. Come on. It's going oh. oh, that's really close. I'm going to try 42 kilos, which is 60%. I don't think I'm going to be able to lift it, but I'm going to try, because that's what Mari just tried. Come on. Come on. Not going. That's not going out. Nairo has achieved 60% body weight on that size, so we've dropped it down, and we're on 55% body weight. I think Mari's going to get this. I'm psyched. It's going to be a big lift. Come on, come on, come on! Yes! Uh, we'll have to go to our judge here and see. Um, again, disgusting and impressive. So I think it's a yes. It's not ideal for lifting. It's because uh, these juices are not good friction for us. Oh, I think Pete's gonna pull it off again. I'm not gonna shoot the bear before the fat lady sings. Come on. Come on, Pete. Come on, Pete. Come on, Pete. Come on. Come on. Oh. It was up. Then it was down again. Sort of quicker than it was up. But I'd say it was a lift because Problem is, if it is a lift, they need to go again because we're not allowed to tie and both of these are making me sad. So in the interest of not wanting to watch either of them go heavier because it's awful, 
I'd say Mari's was the better lift, so we're going to give the point to Mari. We're going to move on to something also terrible. This is getting tight. You can just Four, put three. like gold uh, metal here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm actually going for purple. It's grey. We're going to go into the finger sizes, and for me, that is tip. I think Pete might have done me a favour here, actually. Why is that? Because he thinks he's saving skin, but I think I can do well here. Let's see it happen. <laughs> <laughs> good. How was that? It was good, just to remember the technique again. What is the technique? Uh, just stuff and twist. On the tips. Tips, jams. Just the tips, or...? Just the tips for me. Forty percent. Come on. Nice. I forgot we were competing for a moment. Yeah, yeah, don't cheer him. No. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Yes. It's almost like you need to tell me when it's off the ground because you can feel like the start of it coming off and then mm. you're not sure when the whole yeah. weight comes off. Yeah. Not fantastic, not gonna lie. Come on then. Oh, it's re no, it's really hard that. You smell that? That's the gold. It's the smell of gold. Come on. <sighs> It's not going. I've gone dizzy. <laughs> Ow. Oh, it's there for the taking. Was so it the pain 25. or was it? Pain a bit actually. Mm. I felt like I was going to blow out of it because of slipping, but mainly pain actually now. It's just really painful. Yeah, it's feeling quite uh, like a raw yeah. at the moment. I remember where the pain was. <laughs> I want the pain in the same place. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, it is for all, so Dan has come up with a tiebreaker for us and we are going to do the plate pinch hold. So we're going to do 30% of our body weight in each hand. That's 15 kgs for Mari and that is 21 kgs for me. And first one to fail with both. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, flip. Five seconds. Ten. Twenty. Twenty. Keep squeezing. Keep squeezing. Come on, 45 seconds. Oh, oh that was close. Oh. oh, pumped, I got pumped everywhere. We both dropped one at the same time. <laughs> well, that was as close as I think it gets. You should check out Dan. It's Dan Hipkiss Coaching on Instagram. Check him out. Coach of the world's strongest man, Britain's strongest man. Thank you, Mari. You're welcome. If you enjoyed this video, we'd love it if you considered subscribing. Also, you're definitely going to want to check out another one of our grip strength videos here, where we really get put through our paces. Looking forward to seeing you all in the next video.